In this work, we propose a method for efficient agent-based data-driven crowd simulation. This method consists of two phases, pre-processing and runtime simulation. At pre-processing, videos of real-life crowds are tracked and sampled to generate examples. These examples are separated into two groups. Those where the subjects have some form of interaction within their limited field of view, used for generating the perception action graph, and the interaction-free examples which are stored in a database. Both of these structures are used during simulation. Agents sample the environment at regular time intervals recording visibility-based interactions. A temporal perception pattern consists of a number of consecutive observations grouped together to encode the state of the agent. At simulation time, agents generate TPPs and collaborate to select the best actions to follow. As soon as an agent senses some stimuli, it employs the perception action graph to handle interactions efficiently up to the moment they are resolved. Agents use the interaction-free database to select the trajectory towards their goals for as long as they don't have any stimuli in their field of view. Our system has been tested with various input datasets from different sources. Here we see a simple scenario with four agents moving against each other. On the left, the input comes from a video where groups of people meet and chat for a while, continuing on their way. In the middle and right, we have input from two different pedestrian areas, which have subtle differences. The different input has profound effects on the simulation, as can be seen in these results. In the first video, agents stop to talk, whereas in the other two, they avoid each other with different interpersonal distances and speeds. In all the simulations, the agents reached their goals. All agents were initialized with the exact same parameters. Here we demonstrate the system operating synthetic input data from the OpenStr framework. The input consists of 500 frames of 50 agents moving along straight paths, avoiding each other. Our system can simulate crowd behavior in environments similar to the input, but also more complex ones. Here we show an extreme example where input from a sparse crowd is used for a much more dense and complex situation. Agents try to adapt keeping similar behavior to the input, but due to the large differences, there are some collisions between agents. Agents can be controlled by high-level controllers such as a pathfinder or task planner, leaving the lower-level interactions be handled by the data-driven method. Here we see a series of agents moving along trajectories defined by a higher-level planner, using as input a pedestrian video where people walk avoiding each other or sometimes stopping to talk to each other. Here we see the effect of different input on the simulation. The run on top uses as input the lead chat video, whereas the bottom one uses the Etihad Hotel video. Agents in the top simulation move towards their targets, but stop at the first opportunity to chat to each other. Agents in the bottom one, on the other hand, walk towards their targets, having all sorts of interactions, seeing the input such as avoiding each other, and even sometimes stopping to talk. 